Hi guys, so let's talk um, printer settings and tips. If you have um, a desk jet or inkjet printer, you should have settings for when you get ready to print that you could go in and alter to make the prints come out better and for different materials that you use. You should have settings that you can alter and change to make your prints look better. So let's say you're in um, design space and you're getting ready to print. You hit make. On this next screen, you get this box and just hit continue and here you'll say use the system dialog box use your system dialog box and you see for this I have it set on the HP DeskJet 2600 series and once you hit print your printer's dialog box should come up. So make sure your printer is selected and then hit preferences. Once that opens, you'll see that it's automatically on portrait and blah, blah, blah. Now you want to come over, that's for your layout. So now you want to come, come over and hit paper quality. Now on, I'll show you in a second that some printers have way more settings than others. So for these, um, basic printers that have basic settings so you can put but you can go in and change a few things so you leave this on automatically select and here you can do plain paper normal plain paper fast draft plain paper best quality and specialty paper photo paper best quality now, if you're using photo paper, you choose photo paper. If you're using the Epson paper, like I suggest you all use, it is matte and it's less fussy. Click specialty paper, best quality. This setting will change your life. If you are not changing your setting, then you're always printing on plain paper and the inkjets just give you the basic. If you select specialty paper or other types of paper that are special other than plain paper, you will get the best jet qualities. They they read that and they're like, oh, okay, we can't just half step. We got to step all the way in. So, yeah, change your paper qualities. And it will change your life. Let's see what advance gives us. Okay, that's just, you don't need none of that. So let me see, let me cancel and see if I can go back and see if I have my other printer stuff set up. Mm, I don't have it in here. Let me pause and go pull it up. Okay, this is my Epson's printer preferences. So here you see I have a lot more stuff I can do. So I always go in and I go down and I put matte paper heavy weight. And I leave it on the eight and a half by 11 and I click advance. And once I get over here, I make sure I go up here and put it on best photo. And then here I do print a preview. That way when I hit print, it'll come up on the screen and show me what it looks like. And then for color controls, I click color controls. And I either, I make, I try to make sure because I want it to be vivid and you know give me the brightest so I put it on 2.2 I use 2.2 you can use 1.8 that's fine that's usually standard and in here I put mine on Epson vivid Eps, and it gives me the best and here I can save that setting if I want to 
and if you have an issues sometimes you have issues with colors you can come change your color control but if you do those few basic things then you shouldn't you shouldn't have any problems so if you can go in and alter your settings do that it will give you you different papers they're coated with certain chemicals so they're prepped a certain way so they won't all respond to the same print setting so if you have plain paper in there and you've been print, printing on plain paper um but you're using a specialty type paper get that get that off get that plain paper setting off get the best out of your printer get the best out of your paper get the best image you can get i hope this helps